There's a battle raging within them, a rebel deep within their souls, restless, ravenous, untamed. I am the Knockouts World Champion. See, I run this show. Uncertainty has driven them to the crossroads of hope. Their rebel yell is where they center their emotions. It comforts them and shines like the night sky. This is my family now. Their hunger is fueled by primal desire, guided by the rebellious breaths of glorious feats. It is tackle, battle, and mayhem. I break arms. That's what I do. That's what I've made a career on. That championship represents decades and decades of tradition and lucha libre and culture. That's what I breathe. That's what I live. Yes, the rebels that walk among us. They are the Earth's beasts, living short rebellions of defeat. When you step into this ring, I change your whole world forever. Moose against Josh Alexander, and you are looking at the next Impact World Champion. I have no conscience at all. It's personal now. The greatest champion in all of professional wrestling. Drowning in the endless limericks of this world, they paint the imagination that defines them. It is now the midnight hour. Every minute of this night will bring them one step closer to immortality. This is Rebellion. Wrestling's most storied venues, the MJN Center. Tonight, Impact Wrestling presents Rebellion. And what better way to kick things off this evening than with King Switch. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your Rebellion opening contest. A triple threat match set for one fall. Introducing first representing Bullet Club from Austin, New Zealand, Switchblade, T.Y. And how apropos you see it on his shirt right there, the catalyst of professional wrestling. What better person to be the catalyst for our evening here tonight than the leader of Bullet Club himself, King Switch, the Switchblade, Jay White. In one quick summation, this is a grudge match. Earlier this month at the Multiverse of Matches, it was a fantastic bout. Chris Saban earned the first pinfall victory against Jay White in Impact Wrestling ever. Jay White was furious after the match, as you can imagine, but at the same time, that was an opportunity for Steve Macklin to strike, which White took exception to. Steve Macklin! Take one look at Steve Macklin. He is ready for battle. Earlier today on social media, he tweeted out the Latin phrase, Memento Mori. That translates to remember you must die. That is the mentality of Steve Macklin coming into this matchup. He is willing to put everything on the line, line tonight because this is Steve Macklin's biggest opportunity of his career. This could be huge for Macklin. Their opponent from Detroit, Michigan, Chris Saban. They say in this business that uh, experience is everything, right? Absolutely. In triple threat matches coming into this evening, Jay White has competed in three. Steve Macklin has competed in five. 
Chris Sabin has competed in 68 triple threat matches. If that doesn't tell you the story, if that doesn't even give you a hint of the storied history of Chris Sabin, particularly here in Impact Wrestling, I don't know what does. Chris Saban, as I mentioned, scored the first pinfall victory ever against Jay White here in this company at the Multiverse of Matches. It was after the fact, Steve Macklin took that opportunity to jump Chris Saban. The way that Macklin has tried to attack members of Team Impact, if you remember from the No Surrender event a few months ago, Macklin is still furious at people like Chris Saban in his allegations didn't believe in him heading into No Surrender. It's been all out vengeance ever since. He's targeted everybody on that team. Obviously, a lot of Bullet Club fans here in the house tonight. Remember, no count outs, no disqualifications in a triple threat match. And this is, see, this is what Jay White does. He's like a conductor. He chooses the pace, he picks his spots. He plays this audience, he plays his opponents, he plays the entire business like an orchestra. And look at Saban now trying to get White to enter the ring. Jay White uh, not interested, as you mentioned, he's gonna do this on his time, so that leaves Macklin and Saban inside. They have to be wary of White at all times, and now from behind, Macklin able to get to Saban. And you have to imagine that's exactly what Jay White was expecting. Oh. Cut down by Macklin and, and once White again. wants no part of this yet. I love this strategy. He knows, because he can get out here, take his time on the floor. Oh. And he knows, he knows how Save hot. And cover, shoulders down, there's White. Also a kick out by Macklin, but Jay White there at the right time. He was there just in case. He knows what a hothead Macklin is. He knows Macklin's going to want to fight. He's not going to wait. To the outside, and there's White waiting for his prey to come to oh. him. Oh, baseball slide. Maybe the plan's starting to backfire a little. Over the top rope, White and Saban. Ooh. Plenty of history. Macklin takes a kick, and then off the apron down goes White. Go for it. Make it a twofer. Oh. Saban is feeling it here at Poughkeepsie. Now Steve Macklin along the barricade. Macklin has never been in a oh, sanctioned match against White or Saban yet here in Impact Wrestling. So everybody kind of feeling each other out a little bit, I guess. Absolutely trying to figure out your opponents, especially when it's a triple oh. threat match. Oh, hold on, there's a cover kick out by Macklin at one. That feeling out process you have in most pro wrestling contests is kind of out the window. You just got to take the fight to whoever's in front of you. Meanwhile, have an eyes in the back of your head. Al Saban, talk about the momentum that he has built. Ray Wald ever since. Oh, oh, with Alex Shelley and the Motor City Machine Guns, and then, of course, pinning Jay White in Dallas. Which is huge. I wanted to talk about that for just a oh. second because it wasn't just the first ever pinfall victory against oh. Jay White in Impact Wrestling. I've been watching the US of J tour all oh. over this country in several companies, and I don't think anybody's beaten Jay White throughout this entire time. Chris Sabin being the lone one. But right now it's Steve Macklin who has cleared the field. Now trying to set him up. Oh. Backbreaker center of the ring. The Antichrist of the backbreaker. Here's the cover. Shoulders down and a kick out by White. And what a huge opportunity sits in front of Steve Macklin. Can you imagine, as you take a look right oh. here one more time into that torpedo-like tope, if Steve Macklin were to beat both Jay White oh. and the veteran Chris Saban, what a huge feather oh. in his cap that would be here in Impact Wrestling. Spine first into the hardest part of the ring goes Jay White. Steve Macklin, he went after Rhino. Now he's targeting Chris Saban. He even took a shot at Heath, the tag team partner of Rhino. We're going to see that duo in action later on tonight. Oh, oh to the knee. Saban goes after Macklin. Dropping Macklin right off the apron there. 
And now, once again, Chris Saban finding himself in firm control, oh. but only for a second. Ribs first. Oh, and again, this time into the apron. Dangerous territory here inside the impact zone. Oh, and Jay White sends Macklin head first into the steel post. Oh, no, not this. Oh. Suplex on the floor. You know the old phrase about work smart, not hard? Well, Jay White does both. Chris Bay had an opportunity on the countdown to Rebellion against the leader of Honor No More, Eddie Edwards. That went to Edwards, and now Jay White trying to show what Bullet Club is all about here to open up the Rebellion pay-per-view. Yeah, you have to imagine that sticking at least in the back of the mind of the Catalyst himself, trying to right that wrong, pick up another notch in Bullet Club's favor on oh. this huge night for Impact Wrestling. Now trending hashtag Rebellion all over social oh. media. Impact Wrestling Spring Pay-Per-View Extravaganza, and we are starting off in a big way. Now White to win this triple threat match and a kick out by Saban. How chaotic are these triple threat matches? You've been in plenty. I feel I feel like I say it all the time. It's 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 so hard. You get so hard to train for. You can spar all you want with a buddy or something like that. But unless you're getting in there and just doing triple threat matches, the ability to know where your other opponent is at all times is so difficult. Going back to the ribs, very smart. Back to the midsection, backbreaker by White. Saban and able to kick out, and even just kicking out, Ray Walt. That can't feel good for Saban. I mean, at this point, he could have a busted rib after all the work Jay White has done. Running him into the apron, dropping him onto the apron, backbreakers, gut busters. Oh. Constantly focused oh. on that one body part. Keeping Macklin on the outside. You could see Jay White favoring his back because of the assault by Macklin moments ago. Oh, oh. Knife edge chop right to the chest. It's more like a switchblade edge oh. chop. Thank you. From the king. Oh, White, he's turned up the tenacity over the last few weeks in Impact Wrestling. And now Macklin into the ring. White wanted Saban still. And now Saban with some life. How quickly these matches can change on a dime. Off the top, crossbody, got two at the same time. And I marvel every time I watch Chris Saban, after all he's done in this business, after all the time, all the blood, sweat, and tears he's put in here in Impact, he seems to just keep getting better. I said it at the Multiverse of Matches, he's one of the best wrestlers on the planet. He proved it against Jay White. Ooh. Oh, now look at Macklin with a clothesline. And now Macklin after Saban. Oh, Saban able to drop him. Saban trying to pick up a little momentum here with White on the outside. Critical opportunity Huge now. back drop going on to Macklin there. And now big momentum building oh. for Chris Saban. Right on to the tailbone. And again, that back of Jay White being very, very tender. Now Saban. Oh. oh, oh, gets two at the same time. Very MCMG of him. Here's the cover and a kick out by White. If you have the ability to take out both your opponents, go for it. Because Lord knows, oh, one or the other is going to be there. Remember the damage to the ribs of Saban. He was trying to set up for the cradle shock there on Macklin. Macklin just a little oh. bit better positioning there. Oh, and a knee to White. Oh, and a knee out of the corner by Macklin. DDT by White. And all three men find themselves on even ground, even if that ground happens to be flat on their backs. What a match to kick off Rebellion here. So much at stake for every wrestler in this match. Saban to prove what he proved against Jay White at the multiverse of matches, that he can stand head and toe above Manny. Boom! Oh, the blade buster by White. There's the cover and a kick out. Meanwhile, Jay White no doubt wants revenge for what happened in Dallas. Yuranagi! Cover by the switchblade kick out. And of course, Steve Macklin 
looking to exercise those leftover demons from the team impact fiasco and like i said put a huge huge notch in his corner by beating two of the best in the world today and now jay white is all alone click click now we just need the boom oh saban says no off the snapmare eats that knife edge chop oh and you see the chest of Saban as well, starting to get tenderized by Jay White. I'm trying to set up Saban. Hold on a second. Here's Macklin. Macklin into the fray. But White trying to fight him off. And Saban, both of them, <laughs> fighting off Macklin for a brief second. White and Saban teammates. Wrong place, wrong time for Macklin. Oh! Fights through it. Look at Macklin. Macklin does not go down that easily. And into the eyes oh. of Chris Saban goes Jay White. No disqualifications, as you pointed out earlier. Do what you gotta do. Going up to the top turnbuckle now. White is favoring his lower back still because of the assault of Macklin earlier on in the match. Oh, and a headbutt right between the eyes. Saban manages to fight down King Switch. Oh, and a missile drop kick to Macklin. Jay White in a bad, bad way. Tied up there in the ropes. Uh-oh. Caught by Macklin into the top whoa, whoa, whoa. turnbuckle. What is Macklin thinking about here? Oh, I know. Oh, I know what this means. Well, you got two targets. Cut oh. the crosshairs. Going for round two. No! Oh, no! I can't believe that. Fire and a miss from Macklin. If that doesn't show you just how hard Macklin goes, he oh. sent himself all the way to the floor. The question is, will he be able to get back into this matchup? Boot right to the face there by Saban. Great window of opportunity now against Jay White. Looking for the cradle shock. Oh! That beautiful half and half. We know what that usually sets up, though. Jay White is not done. Thing about the Blade Runner. No! One. Now Saban, cover up, oh. kick out. That was so close, and Jay White knows it. Oh, up on the shoulders. What's the cradle shot DDT? We're not a DDT, who cares? <laughs> Keep on moving. Back and forth they go, looking for the Blade Runner again. Cradle shot again, and he gets there it! it is. Cradle shot, cradle shot. Oh, Macklin, Macklin! Wait, wait, wait. Macklin. Steve Macklin steals the biggest win of his career. Hey, say what you will, what a gigantic victory for Steve Macklin. Take a look back here. This triple threat match to begin rebellion. Here is how he did it. The cradle shot set up there by Saban. Jay White was down. Saban could have this one. Macklin swoops in from behind and gets the win. What brilliant timing. That's the thing, the mind of Steve Macklin cannot be doubted now, as well as the physical ability that all three of these guys put in. But what a huge night. Huge night for Steve Macklin. Gigantic win. And we are just getting started here at Rebellion Live on pay-per-view and Fight TV. I'm Tom Hannafin alongside the drama king, Matthew Raywalt, but we're not alone here at ringside. Joining us is our French commentary team. It's Mark Lundy and Handsome JF. Bien sûr, et bien Rebellion 2022. Mark Lundy, à mes côtés, Handsome JF, la soirée est encore jeune. Oui, première fois qu'on est aux abords du ring. Rebellion 2022 va être un événement qui va être tout à fait incroyable. Alors c'est vraiment une soirée haute en couleur. And I mean, we've already started with a bang, but we have an incredible night of action still to come. In a matter of moments, we'll have plenty more, but this is what we're looking at tonight here at the MJN Center in Poughkeepsie. For the first time ever, it is the top dog, Jonah, against the stone pit bull, Tomohiro Ishii. Jonah has dubbed this a dog fight.
And the AAA Reina Duranis title is on the line when Deanna Perrazzo defends against a returning Taya Valkyrie. Another championship match. Trey Miguel defends the X Division title in a triple threat against Ace Austin and Mike Bailey. Miguel does not have to be pinned or submitted to lose his championship this evening here at Rebellion. High stakes for Trey Miguel. And in another title opportunity, Violent by Design defend the Impact World Tag Team Championships in an eight-team elimination challenge match here tonight. Meanwhile, Rosemary of Decay gets her title shot against Tasha Steeles, challenging for the Impact Knockouts World Title. And in the main event, it is six months in the making. Moose defends the Impact World Championships against the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. I mean, we're fine, okay? Please worry about yourself tonight. Yes, tonight's match has been six months in the making. For you, honey, you have been dreaming, you have been working for this moment for 16 years. At Bound for Glory, honey, don't you remember? You had a taste of that championship title. You had it in your hands, only to get it ripped away and we just want the entire world to see what we know. And we know that Daddy is going to be an amazing champion, right? Right? <laughs> yeah. If this was just about what happened about for Gloria, I could leave it alone, okay? Moose has made this personal over the last few months with everything he's put you through, Jet through, and Lucas. Okay, Moose is gonna learn a lesson tonight. If I'm ever gonna be able to look myself in a mirror again, if I'm ever gonna be able to look my son in the eyes again, I need to show Moose that there's consequences for his actions. Look, a while ago you said you didn't need an executive, you needed your coach. So let me throw out one thing for you to ponder. Moose knows he's not better than you. So he's trying to get in your head. And he's doing it by using the most valuable, precious thing in the world to you, your family. So if you want to be successful tonight, go out there, take what's most valuable to him, the world championship. But if you let anger get in the way, you're not going to get it done. You need to take that anger, you need to put it in your back pocket, you need to use it as motivation. You're going to go out there and you're going to teach him a lesson, you're going to win that world title by using your strengths. You are the best damn wrestler in the world. It's not just your wife and your son who think that. Anyone who's ever seen you in a ring in these 16 years knows that. Go out there, be that wrestler, and beat him, and take what's yours. Thanks, Scott. Deanna, tonight, universes collide here at Multiverse of Matches, which means anyone can show up to answer your champ champ challenge. The entire Matt Lux is learning when you mess with the goal, you get the horse. Before all of you, it's the rating. World Champion. Oh my God! Tayo Valkyrie is back in Impact Wrestling! The longest reigning Knockouts World Champion of all time! That championship represents decades and decades of tradition and lucha libre and culture. That's what I breathe, that's what I live. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet, Taya. The woman that sent you packing crying. My champion out of Impact Wrestling was just the champ, the virtuosa, Deanna Perrazzo. I mean, we all know she's a champ champ because she won't stop saying it. Well, in order to shut her mouth, I had to come all the way back here to Impact Wrestling. And you know that Reina the Reina's title? I never lost it. In a rebellion, I will become a four-time Lucha Libre, Vibrea, Reina the Reina's champ. If you want to date for rebellion, you got it. But the result will always be the same. Champ, champ is forever here.
Two longtime rivals meet once again here at Rebellion. It is Taya Valkyrie's first match in the Impact Zone in well over a year. Valkyrie and Perazzo for the AAA Reina de Reina's title right now. Ladies and gentlemen, the next match is for the AAA Reina de Reina's championship set for one fall. Introducing first the challenger from Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, Toya Valkyrie. That's the real one. Wherever Toya Valkyrie goes, she certainly goes in style, and she really crashed the party at the Multiverse of Matches in style. Oh, I know. Don't remind me. Look. Is it exciting to have Taya Valkyrie in Impact Wrestling once again? Of course, a world-class athlete. But to pick that moment, to step on the Virtuosa's moment, to me, big, big mistake. Deanna Perrazzo has been rolling as of late as the double champion, holding both the Ring of Honor as women's the world title. the champ, champ, get it right. And the Triple Eight Reina de Reina's championship on her shoulder. Can Taya Valkyrie end that right now? Her opponent from Hackettstown, New Jersey. She is the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion and the defending Triple Eight Reina de Reina's champion. The Virtuosa. Deanna Perrazzo. You asked the question, can she defeat the Virtuosa? Sure, and we all can dream of a better life. You can dream of someone actually liking you one day, but the challenge is, will it actually happen? Me says no. Deanna Perrazzo is the last person to have beaten Taya Valkyrie here within Impact Wrestling. It was back in January. 2021, the Hard to Kill event. Thought it was Deanna Perrazzo that moment successfully defended her new Knockouts World Championship against Taya Valkyrie. Valkyrie would then leave for an extended period of time to pursue opportunities elsewhere. In the process of doing that, Valkyrie also had to vacate her then third Triple A Reina de Reina's title back in 2021. She had reigned at the time for 528 days. There is someone in this matchup who knows how much that Triple A Reina de Reina's title means. It is Taya Valkyrie. But this is a different virtuosa than even she knew. This is the champ champ. And clearly this crowd in Poughkeepsie is loco because they're not chanting for the Virtuosa. Chance of La Huera Loca. And a heads up, information for tickets regarding our Citrus Brawl on May 13th and May 14th, available now at impactwrestling.com. Tickets are on sale. Join us in the greater Orlando area. Right now, Rebellion full speed ahead here in Poughkeepsie, New York, live on pay-per-view and Fight TV. Oh. And what a start to this matchup. Valkyrie trying to control Peraza. Well, she's digging into that oh. Lucha Libre background of hers. Something she's very familiar with, obviously, as a three-time Triple A Reina de Reina's champion looking to make it four here tonight. Cross body and then a drop kick here, and Valkyrie is pushing the pace. Now I'd say within the Champ Champ Challenge, the only thing really like Valkyrie, hold on to win the title, there's a cover and a kick out. The only person really like Valkyrie that Perazzo has experienced has been Fabi Apache at Multiverse of Matches, a four-time Triple A Reina de Reina's champion, similar luchadora style, but still Valkyrie is completely different. But I was I was gonna make the point of another incredible Triple A Reina de Reina's champion in Fabi Apache, but who beat her? Deanna Perazzo, your current champ champ. And back at Triple Mania 29 in August of last year, 252 days. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. And Valkyrie calls that pandemonium, the snap German suplex off the ropes. Oh, now Valkyrie with the knees here. Just beating up on Perazzo on the outside of the ring. Now she better keep her eyes on the champ champ. 
because Deanna Perrazzo can turn this thing around very, very quickly. And it's trying to drive the crown of the skull into the post, and instead, it's Perrazzo who turns it around. What did I tell you? It's like I say it and it happens. This, this, I, I have some kind of magical power. Maybe it's just this connection me and the Virtuosa have, but I knew she could turn it around just like that. Near clairvoyant. Something like that. Valkyrie tossed back inside the ring. Perrazzo in pursuit. E right to the spine, and here comes the Virtuosa. This is what Deanna Perrazzo does best. This is why, at least in her champ champ challenges, she's 7 and 0. Oh. Because when she gets the advantage, she steps on the gas. She does not let up. A lot of people, they get an opening, they take time to oh. breathe, they take a moment, but no, 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 no. There's a cover to retain her Triple A Reina de Reina's title and a kick out. I will say I've been impressed by Perazzo considering the talk surrounding the interim Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, that being Mercedes Martinez, and no doubt a future date against Perazzo for her Ring of Honor Women's World Championship. Interim, interim, interim. We all know who the real oh, champ is, and they're second. in the center of the ring here. Koji clutch after the flatliner, and now it's Valkyrie. Valkyrie trying to change position. Shoulders down and a kick out. Good counter from oh. Valkyrie, but great wherewithal from Perazzo to kick out there as well. Cannot understate the magnitude of Taya Valkyrie being back here in Impact Wrestling. It completely changes the knockouts division. Uh, Perrazzo's sent to the floor. Again, I won't argue that. It raises the level of talent here. It raises the stock of the entire knockouts division. But one thing remains the same. The Virtuosa is at the top of it no matter what. Now Perrazzo trying to corral Valkyrie. Oh my god, back first into the apron. The referee was at a count of four. He has stopped his count to check on both these wrestlers. That was gorgeous. Ah. That is Valkyrie screaming out in pain. Remember, champion's advantage, of course, to Perrazzo. Title cannot change hands. Oh, via count out or disqualification. Big contact on the outside, and Valkyrie's trying to recover. That beautiful counter into that almost Russian leg sweep into the side of the ring, into that steel girder that sets up our ring here. Count of seven. Perrazzo and Valkyrie have got to get back into the ring. You see, the virtuosa, she could have taken a count out victory. She could have just stayed on the floor. Count of ten. These two women hate each other. No matter how much time apart, those feelings won't die. A lot of bad blood. And when that bell rings, it all comes swirling back for both these competitors. Big forearm shiver there by Valkyrie. Oh! oh. I'll set off there by Perrazzo. Oh, and an A right to the face. And Valkyrie able to drop the champion no, no, no. to win the title and a kick out. Yeah, you want to keep your head in this, Taya. The Virtuoso will not go down without a fight. Now, Taya Valkyrie, hold on a second. Is she thinking about Road to Valhalla? Trying to set it up here, it looked like for a moment. She's trying, but Deanna knows that she's trying to set that up. Huge pump kick. And now Perrazzo oh. is standing knees right to the midsection and a kick out by the challenger. But now Deanna oh, looking to close this one out, got the armbar on. Virtu on an armbar by the Virtuosa. Beautiful placement here too. Look at the hand of Taya Valkyrie. It's about to tap. And Valkyrie knows this pain, trying to get to the bottom rope. She's trying have to reach to. Out. This will break the submission. And Perrazzo uses the bulk of the five count and finally breaks. Use every second you got. Do as much damage as humanly possible. Oh, fend it off by Valkyrie. And now the question is there, how much damage did that armbar do? Because oh. you know Deanna Perrazzo is going to go back to it again and again. Oh. 
Now Perazzo trying to rip Valkyrie off the top turnbuckle. Valkyrie keeps fighting. Now trying to rip the Virtuosa from the second rope. Now Valkyrie ducks away. Valkyrie. Oh, oh two. Turn it into a single no, no, no. bomb. Perazzo kicks out. Oh, and look at this. Valkyrie's not done. I mean, incredible resilience there from Diana Perazzo to kick out of that power bomb. But now in a bad, bad way. Reach. Submission for submission between these two. The cross legged STF. She's got to crawl. She's got to dig down deep and get to that rope. And does. she does. Beautiful. Two women who know each other so well, know each other's game so well. And I have faith that oh. new, what great counter, always oh. been able to pick a spot right into the leg bar there on Taya. Al Valkyrie trying to get out oh. the hard way. But that is why the Virtuosa is one of the best technical wrestlers in the world. Oh. Turn inside out. And now Perazzo to put away the challenger kick out by Valkyrie. And obviously frustration building in both wrestlers, but Deanna Perazzo looking to put this one away. Uh, thinking about the Queen's Gambit. Thinking about the Queen's Gambit. Come on, you just gotta wear her down. Put it away. One more move and it's yours. Oh, no, 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 no. Wants it. No! no! To Valhalla! You gotta Cover. be. You gotta be. The no! champ is no more. Valkyrie is champion. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the new Triple A Reina Garena's champion, Toya Valkyrie. Her first match in Impact Wrestling in over a year. Her first night back, and she becomes Triple A. Look. You know what? We what we can. Here's a replay. Moments ago, Taya Valkyrie able to get all see. of Deanna Perazzo rode to Valhalla, and that was all she wrote. I'm speechless, Tom. What an impressive, impressive win from Taya Valkyrie. Congratulations to the way to look up the new Triple A Arena de Arena's champion. What an impressive return for Taya Valkyrie and new AAA Reina de Reina's champion. And now here I am with another champion, Impact Knockouts World Champion Tasha Steeles. Tasha, how are you feeling going into tonight, your first pay-per-view title defense, and against someone you have a dark history with, Rosemary? First of all, Gia, felicidades, Taya. Welcome back. You may have a title, but I have the title, okay, mama? Second of all, Gia, how do I feel? How do I feel? You shouldn't be asking me how do I feel? You should be asking Rosemary how she's going to feel tonight taking an L from me, the history maker, La Boricua Badass, the greatest that beat the greatest, Tasha Steeles. You see, Rosemary, you, you have been chasing flavor since 2020, and still today, you're chasing flavor, and I know how bad you wanna taste, and you're gonna get it tonight. But see, here's what's gonna happen tonight, Rosemary. With you thinking that you're gonna drag me to a realm, mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. See, the dragging is gonna be done by me. I'm gonna drag you right through Pettyville, okay? Drag you by your stupid demon edges. And I'm going to drag you through Prettyville, and I'm going to bring you to the hard knocks of steels. And I'm going to be standing over you and still knockouts world champion. And as I'm looking down on you, I am going to ask you, how 
you like me now. And that is on what, Gia? Oh, God. Ever since Mike Bailey arrived here, the countdown to Hard to Kill, he pinned Ace Austin that night. I think Austin realizes to get to Trey Miguel's exhibition title, he needs to use Mike Bailey. It looks like it's just me and you. Ah, me, you, and Trey. Yes, and Trey. But you know what I mean, me and you. I know exactly what you mean. If you're expecting Ace of all people to have your back going into this show with credit, don't. Regardless of what's going on between Bailey and Austin, whether they like each other, whether they have each other's back or not, the simple fact is that this Saturday at Rebellion, Free Miguel doesn't even have to be pinned or submitted to lose his championship in a triple threat. In the chaos, the X Division champion, Trey Miguel, found a way to win. He's gonna need that at Rebellion. Mike Bailey shows his hand to Ace Austin. It will be every man for himself come rebellion. If you don't see the fire in my eyes right now, then you simply aren't looking close enough. Well, there's no more question on where Mike Bailey stands. It is one on one on one. And Trey Miguel, the champion, does not have to be pinned or submitted to lose his X Division championship. Triple threat action, X Division title right now. Rebellion continues with this triple threat match for the X Division Championship set for one fall. Introducing challenger number one from Atlantic City, New Jersey, inevitable, Ace Austin. A two-time X Division Champion in his own right. Notably, both those title rings were ended at the last two Rebellion events. So this pay-per-view has not exactly been kind to Ace Austin, and especially walking into this matchup, He's not gonna have Mike Bailey to be very kind to him either. But he is called inevitable Ace Austin for a reason. The history of this pay-per-view aside, his history with Mike Bailey aside, trials, tribulations, ups and downs, inevitably, that X Division title is coming home in the mind of Ace Austin. Challenger number two from Quebec, Canada, Speedball, Mike Bailey. Ray Wall, you and I were talking about this before the show, the actions of Mike Bailey not standing by Ace Austin as we saw moments ago. What did you think of that decision by Mike Bailey? He's a turncoat. Look, Ace Austin was simply trying to form a friend, form an alliance, as so often happens here. We just, what the, on our own more Bullet Club, these groups, these factions, Mike Bailey had no reason to kick Ace Austin in the head, if you ask he me. He had every reason. Austin is no friend to Bailey. He's trying to manipulate him. And their opponent from Toledo, Ohio, the X Division champion, Trey he has now reigned for 182 days as the X Division champion that is tied now for the fifth longest X Division title reign with Christopher Daniels' run back in 2005. There have been plenty of highs and lows along the way. Won the title at the Bound for Glory event. He has had plenty of successful title defenses, but he's also had the challenges in his personal life. The loss of his mother back in January, the recent loss of his grandmother. This is a man who has persevered through plenty in and out of the ring. I've been able to step into the ring against Trey Miguel. I have nothing but respect for what he does in that ring, nothing but respect for what he does to get here, to get himself where he's been and to defend that championship at the highest caliber. But he has a huge, huge task tonight in Ace Austin and Mike Bailey all at the same time. Trey Miguel has won his last three 
last five triple threat matches here in Impact, including winning the X Division title in a three-way match, as I mentioned, at Bound for Glory 2021, and he retained in a three-way at Turning Point 2021. Here's Bailey and Miguel are fast friends. Well, Ace Austin trying to let everybody in this match know just how confident he is, but maybe it wasn't the wisest move with two fresh opponents. And similar to the triple threat match we saw earlier this evening that saw Steve Macklin beat both Jay White and Chris Saban in the same match. There are no count outs. There are no disqualifications in this matchup. Oh, first man to get pinfall or submission is the X Division champion. And look, look at this, look at this, what they're doing to Ace Austin right now. Trey Miguel and Mike Bailey. Oh. How is this any different than what Ace was trying to do with Mike? Just team up, take on a common opponent. Oh. What so horrible thing happened that makes everybody question Ace Hold Austin? Hold on now, Bailey trying to get the best of Miguel and a two count. Hold on, backslide here by Miguel, trying to put away this matchup early. Very smart decision. Reminder, every man for himself, no matter how well you're working together. Oh, and now look at Bailey go. To your point, it's every man for himself. I think Bailey saw the way Ace Austin was trying to manipulate him from Whoa. day one here in this company. Oh, and he turned it around. I think he assumed oh, we never saw Ace Austin do anything untoward. A triple threat matchup continues here. Don't miss out on Impact Wrestling's first trading card series of 2022. Autograph cards from Jonah, Lady Frost, and Mickey James are featured. Trading card packs are shipping now. Only limited quantities are still available. Visit shopimpact.com to learn more. Look at Miguel. Oh, the way Trey Miguel moves with such fluidity. In and out of the ropes, in and out of the ring. Whoa. A great grab. counter there from Mike Bailey. Grabbed a hold of the leg there. Very smart there by Bailey. Oh, and it's Austin. Oh, and he's wiped out by Miguel. It's got to feel like being in a tornado. You try and reach out. Maybe you try and find some safe haven, but you're just pulled right back in. Oh, Miguel and Austin just flat out don't like each other. There's that. Plays a huge, it's yeah. almost like the Corleone family. Just when you think you're out, somebody pulls you back in. Oh my God, oh, oh my God, Bailey took advantage of the setup by Miguel. The almost inadvertent teamwork that can take place in these triple threat matches. Watch this one more time. Miguel on the outside here to Ace Austin, the suicide dive. That took out the inevitable one. And then watch this by Bailey. The moonsault to the outside as Miguel was going for offense on Austin. Great timing. Great observation from Speedball, who's had Speedball. Mike Bailey has turned himself into one of the most consistent workhorse performers in all of professional wrestling. Since making his debut here, here in Impact Wrestling, gaining the chance to wrestle once again after being closed off in Canada for a long, long time. Thought about a Kimura lock there for a moment. Did Trey Miguel after the Northern Lights suplex. Trying to set him up. Oh, wow. Stomps oh. by Austin. Miguel was looking for that big stomp, but it shows you just how well Ace Austin had things scouted. I don't know who's right now. Oh, Ace Austin, he believes he's always had the number of Trey Miguel. As you see here catching that big stop, turning it almost into a power bomb. Miguel onto Bailey. Now Austin showing off his strength. One of the most powerful X Division athletes Impact has to offer. Has some of the best condition of any wrestler I've ever seen. Does Ace Austin. Takes care of his mind, body, and oh. soul at the highest level, and it shows. I don't know about his soul. That's pretty bleak. I don't know about that. He's got everything in line. You don't you don't have friends. You don't talk to him. You don't understand how human beings work. Okay? Leave that part to me. And right now the inevitable one is on a roll. Triple threat match up here for the exhibition title. Austin ducked outside. Now it's left to Bailey and Miguel on the inside. Oh, 
really wanted Ultima weapon early on. Looking for it, lands on his feet though impressively. Oh. Boot right to the face, and now Austin nipping at the heels of Bailey. Oh, and for the big spin kick there, and McKinnon. Oh, 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 I think he got part of the cutter. But not only that, sliding from his knees through the ropes to the floor. Watch this. Other angle on it. Yes, he did connect with the cutter. More of a stunner of sorts. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, no, oh. the ring. Now a cover by Speedball, broken up by Austin. Oh, now he's Austin into the cover on Miguel. Shoulders down, trying to steal it, and a kick out. And the action oh. is fast. It does not stop. Do not blink, folks. Make Bailey. sure, make sure you're watching. If you have to get the replay again after this, because you're going to want to watch this again to catch every bit of action. Bailey down on the outside. Austin one of the fold. Miguel wants a cover to retain. Oh, oh man, shades of the recent tag team match. That Miguel came out on top of it. Laser focus kick there from Austin. Perfectly timed. Oh. is all about. The X Division Championship has redefined professional wrestling now for 20 years. We see the next level of evolution tonight at Rebellion. The champion, Trey Miguel, trying to withstand two challengers. Sends Bailey back inside. But if that series of action doesn't show you exactly what Trey Miguel is willing to do, how much this championship oh. means to him, he will fight through all of this. There's Austin pestering Miguel. Oh, short range there with a forearm shiver. Great back and forth action here now. Ace Austin looking to bring Trey Miguel from the higher end district down to earth. The flexibility of Miguel. That went for a sunset flip power bomb. Austin's holding on though. Saw that one coming. Oh whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, and a German by Bailey. He braced off of Miguel. Simply incredible. Oh, and a kick. And now Bailey trying to set up middle of the ring. And well, look at Trey Miguel looking for that sunset flip. Now he's on top of Ace Austin. Oh my God. No, no, no. Oh, double knees into Miguel. Miguel sent into Austin. Take a look again. Boom. Knees into both competitors there. Why take one when you can get two? And now Bailey with his new nemesis, Ace Austin. Big kick, and Austin is right in position for Bailey. Could be looking for ultimate weapon once again. Got Gets it. it! Got it! Knees to the spine! New champion! Oh no, it's broken up by Miguel! Miguel was not going to let it slip away as you walk. Take a look again here. Ultimate weapon to Ace Austin, but it is the champ who's in the right place at the right time to make the save. Miguel defending his title at any cost. Bailey got to be frustrated. Thought he absolutely had it because he absolutely Whoa. did. And that's that stiff kick eliminating Miguel from the equation now as he looks to close it out again once more. Ace Austin in a bad place. Oh! He wanted Austin to think about it. Oh, wait a minute now, Miguel! Miguel, the cover! Oh, now it's Austin! Austin, the cover! Oh, wait a minute, kick out by Miguel! Got the kick there. Back and forth. Miguel looking to put this one away. Huge break buster! Center of the ring! Miguel's not done! Miguel is not done! 
Spider Trey going to the top turnbuckle. Could be looking for that knee. Got him. Got it. Cover. Oh, and Austin pulled the referee out of the cover. Miguel would have had Bailey. By hook or by crook, any means necessary. That's what the X Division Championship means. There's no disqualifications. Austin trying to capitalize. And now he's got Trey Miguel lined up. He's got the ace. reminded everyone just why he's called inevitable Ace Austin. And tonight in Poughkeepsie, he proved it by becoming the new X Division Champion. Take a look back here at this fantastic triple threat matchup here for the X Division title. Trey Miguel certainly put it all on the line. Mike Bailey thought he had this one at different points, as did Trey Miguel, but in the end, Austin gets his third ace with an X division. Everybody almost had it won in this matchup. So much back and forth action. What a night. Our second new champion of the night here at Rebellion. Ace Austin going to walk out of Poughkeepsie with the X Division Championship. Since day one, since day one, the very first time Auto No More stepped foot into Impact Wrestling, we told you, we told you nobody was going to stop us from doing what we want to do. The perfect example. Tonight, it was supposed to be Jonathan Gresham against Eddie Edwards. Jonathan Gresham, he can't make it, boo-hoo, too bad. But in perfect prime Bullet Club fashion, Chris Bay inserts himself into our business and into our match. But in the end, all that means is Chris Bay is the one to lose to Eddie Edwards in honor no more. And that's what a leader does. He leads by example, and we're gonna follow that trend because at Rebellion, we're the rebels that they didn't want here in the first place. We forced their hand, and tonight, we're gonna force them to put a crown on this kingdom. You see, the kingdom has been all over the world winning tag team gold. Me and Matt, IWGP tag team champs, two-time Ring of Honor champs, and tonight we become the Impact Tag Team Champions. And when we win those titles, we're going to walk our sweet little asses to the back, and the first people we're going to see is Bullet Club, and we're going to tell them that that's just too sweet. <laughs> Dig what I'm saying, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coming soon, somebody certainly has a hit list. Speaking of a hitter, this one's gonna be a heavy hitter. Jonah has dubbed this a dog fight for the first time ever. The top dog, Jonah, collides with the stone pit bull, Ishii. Set for one fall. Introducing first from Black Forest, South Australia, the top dog, Jonah. Jonah is absolutely rolling here in Impact Wrestling. He is unbeaten in his last nine singles matches in Impact, and especially most recently his 
savage collision with PCL. I mean, these two seem to be at a war that just won't end. And of course, tonight, in the middle of it, Jonah also has to deal with this amazing, incredible first time ever opportunity against one of New Japan Pro Wrestling's best and most brutal brawlers, Ishii. Jonah has been making headlines all over the professional wrestling world, multiple promotions. Now he has to deal with a legend for the first time ever. in Dallas earlier this month. He was able to defeat Eddie Edwards, collision of two competitors who have plenty of experience in Japan. Jonah is no stranger to competing all over the world, his native Australia as well as Japan. These are two men with very similar styles. Ishii's been making his way all across America and he's found himself face to face with the top dog and he is not intimidated and nor is jonah the 330 pounder one big strike back sends ishii railing but ishii never backs down from a fight ishii's the type of guy you punch him in the face and you might want to check your hand for a couple of broken bones oh Considering the fire that Jonah has been through, I talk about the rivalry with PCO and his winning ways ever since Hard to Kill in January. What does he have to do to beat the Stone Pitbull tonight? That is an excellent question, because it takes a lot to put Ishii down. He has what they call that fighting spirit, and he has it in spades. Ishii giving everything he's got there. Now Jonah trying to pick up the momentum, and he runs down Ishii but look at how much it took to do just that much, just to take Ishii off his feet. I believe the rivalry with PCO for Jonah, it has unlocked something in his mind. There's a new level of aggression, a new level of malice that he is now willing to go to. Will Ishii take him into those proverbial deep waters? Oh, well, that happens in Jonah when he first arrived here oh. in Impact Wrestling, seemed to just kind of power through the competition. Victory after victory, quick, quick, quick. But then he ran into a wall known as PCO. And I think you're right, that lit something else inside him. What do you gotta do to kill a monster? Oh, well, he just found himself with another one tonight. Ishii ran into a wall named Jonah just moments ago. Oh, right to the neck of Ishii and a headbutt from behind. Jonah content to take his time dissecting, dismantling the Japanese legend. That's right, Jonah don't got to move fast, but that's because Jonah don't got to move for anybody, but never count out Ishii. We're talking about a former IWGP Tag Team Champion, two-time Never Open Weight Six-Man Tag Team Champion, and six-time Never Open Weight Champion. You cannot count a man of that caliber out. Oh! Attacking the left arm of Ishii. Oh! 
a flurry to begin this matchup from Tomohiro Ishii, but it's been all Jonah since. A lot of wrestlers would be nervous, perhaps, coming into a matchup like this. We talk about the stoic nature, the reputation of Tomohiro Ishii. It precedes him. There's plenty of pressure that goes into something like this, but it appears, Ray Walt, Jonah's not feeling that pressure. He's just teeing off. Well, if you, you talk about being nervous. Have you seen Jonah nervous about anything? Fair. And when we've seen him at war with a literal Frankenstein-like monster, and he's unintimidated. I don't know if there's much on this planet that can intimidate Jonah. Sold out crowd here at the historic MJN Center in Poughkeepsie, New York, trying to get behind Tomohiro Ishii here as Jonah trying to grind down the New Japan Pro Wrestling star. This has been a very calculated attack from Jonah. We don't often see this from the top dog. A lot of times it's just raw brutality. It's just ground and pound run through him. But I think he knows he has, he may not be nervous, Tom, but he has that respect for Ishii. He knows he's going to have to wear him down. You can only hit a rock so many times. He's going to have to take a different approach than just ground and pound here. Jonah not winning uh, winning over too many fans here in Poughkeepsie who are strongly in the corner of the New Japan Pro Wrestling stalwart who is now starting to fire back up. Right to the ear of Ishii. Oh, this is the Ishii that I know. He, he may he may waver, but he will fight and he will withstand an awful lot of punishment. Ishii continues to absorb these shots from Jonah. Oh, is still standing and now standing in the corner by the top dog. I mean, I'm not here to school you on sports tom but you ever watched certain boxers some of them like to stick and move bob and weave but some just absorb the blow wait for you to make a mistake and then strike back that's the type of fighter that tomohiro ishii is we'll see if we see a ko like tyson fury did earlier today oh big shoulder tackle their attempt by Ishii. Exploding out of that corner, and now looking to German suplex the top dog. Oh my god, I don't know about that, but he's gonna try. Now backed into the corner by Jonah. Now Jonah misses along the turnbuckle. Here's Ishii trying to corral the and super whoa, 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 whoa. No way. Cook Money will hit that brain buster he's beaten so many with. But this is a different type of opponent. Oh! And now, oh, oh. And a hubble drop by Jonah, nobody home. Ishii back up to his feet in that basement lariat. Great wherewithal from Ishii to move out of the way of those strikes and then capitalize it. But look, Jonah already back to his feet. Lighting up the chest of Jonah. Ooh. Ooh. And the world is talking about hashtag rebellion on social media. A tip of the cap to our friends Renee Paquette, Andreas Hale, Denise Salcedo. Loving the action of rebellion here in Poughkeepsie. Oh! Ooh. And you, you almost had to know at some point this was going to break down into a match just like this. Strikes back and forth from two of the hardest hitters in pro wrestling. Right to the midsection, and how much of this can Ishii take? The only answer I have for that is you'd be surprised. Just when you think he's down, just when you think he might be out, he'll fire up and knock your lights out.
Tomohiro Ishii, how many times have you ever seen him in a match like this? Oh! Against an opponent, the oh, size and strength of Jonah, not too often. There just are not many instances in Ishii's career where he spent this much time on the mat, where he's had to come back from high-impact offense time after time after time. This has been brutal. Well, it is Ishii who's normally more of the powerhouse in his matches. Exactly. And in this case, the roles are flipped. Up on the shoulders now, Ishii. Trying to break oh. free of Jonah. Oh, and now look at Ishii. And now both men showing that fighting spirit in full force. Oh, to the knee, and this is wise. This is very wise by Ishii. The mighty don't kneel, where you're gonna have to make them. You chop him down bit by bit. Tomohiro Ishii with a window of opportunity now, trying to set up Jonah. Can he accomplish a brain buster on a 330-pounder? Hey, that time he at least got Jonah off his feet, but once more oh. getting tossed to the mat. Oh, and a senton to put away Ishii. Oh, and a kick out. Jonah, almost in a, in a little bit of state of disbelief there, thought he put away the New Japan stalwart, the Stone Pitbull. But there is still life in the heart of Ishii. And now Jonah wants to put this one out. Thinking about the Jonah bomb. Center of the ring, seen him use this before for victories. Ishii fights it off though. Oh, just Never he... waning. Now Jonah sent into the ropes and now oh. Ishii uses the momentum into a German and that was smart. And that's the sign of a pro. You saw him attempt to do that at the beginning of the match. Didn't Two. work. He attempted the Brain Buster. Jonah was too fresh. Three. But now, using the momentum, oh. learning from where he failed before, oh. Ishii just keeps getting better as this match goes on. And that's what Jonah has to look out for. Got a seven. Ishii back up to his feet and maybe has turned the momentum in this fight. Back up to his free clothesline, and now very similar to the way the match started. Does Ishii now have enough to level Jonah? Jonah is weaker. He's worn down a bit. But he's still the big man in this matchup. Oh! Oh, and Ishii right back to his feet. Wobbly, but he's back up. Now blocks Jonah. Oh, right to the back of the neck. And you hear every one of these clubbing blows. Oh, close line. Jonah off his feet. Here's the cover. And oh. Jonah able to kick out. But if you ask me, Tom, that kick out had a little less energy, but a little less oomph behind it than a lot of the others. Whatever Ishii's doing, it is starting to work. As you take a look here with this oh. huge lariat. From Ishii, almost putting the top dog away. And now what is Ishii thinking about here? Oh, and it's blocked by Jonah. All these clubbing blows, you can hear them echoing across the MJN Center. The sickening thud of flesh on flesh. Think about the proverbial mountain that Ishii has had to climb to get Jonah down on the canvas. I mean, Jonah himself is a mountain. Oh, what that baseman lariat, and it's caught. It is literally caught by Jonah. Jonah saw it coming. He knows this legend so well. Had him scouted. Trying to get Jonah moving. Ran right to the clothesline. Jonah topples Ishii. He's right back up. This is that style, this is that spirit that these Japanese wrestlers oh. are so known for, but Jonah's assault keeps bringing Ishii down to his knees. A savage headbutt. They're getting hit by concrete. 
And now a shoulder Ooh. bomb! The top dog to put away the stone pinball in a kick out! Some way, somehow Ishii stays in this. Oh! Another clothesline, here's the cover! Chona cannot end this match! Take a look here, after the power bomb, Ishii kicks out and stays in this one, not to be put down just yet. And now Ishii somehow still stirring. What is Jonah thinking about here? He's got to be thinking about what do Hold I on. have to do? Hold on, wait. is he trying to go for? Is he trying oh. to go for a brain buster on Ishii? Add insult to injury. Ishii not going to let that. Oh my oh, God! Huge! A colossal spear! Tsunami, but he is incensed that that basement lariat didn't get the job done. Uh, and somehow Jonah's back up. Jonah is back up. Oh, close oh, range God. with the headbutts. And one more time, Ichi looking to close this one out. Oh my, oh my God! God! Brain Buster, a gigantic Brain Buster. Ichi wins the dog fight. Here is your winner. She weathered the entire storm and managed to hit the Brain Buster. Watch this right here, lifting his much larger opponent right in the middle of the ring and beating the top dog, Jonah. I still can't believe Ishii pulled that off. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And Ishii is the definition of that adage as it got him the victory here. At rebellion. Look at the eyes of Ishii. The man has been in a fight. He knows it. Jonah knows it. What a war here at Rebellion. That is a testament <laughs> to the professional wrestler that Ishii is. Power and control is something that you had, good brothers. We told you that we wanted a shot at these titles. We did exactly what we said. We took the world championships. We're walking around a little lighter and it's not a great feeling. We don't have our Impact Wrestling World Tag Team titles. So Violet by design, the seven time World Tag Team Champions are about to become eight time World Tag Team Champions on your night. We accomplished the mission that we came here for in the first place. We made a promise to each other at the beginning of this year to become yeah, Impact yeah. Tag Team Champions. At Rebellion, imagine what they will say. Imagine what the world will say when we run rough shot through seven of the best teams ever put together. And hold on to what's most dear to us. We've been Ring of Honor Tag Champions, New Japan Tag Champions, and now we're gonna add Impact Tag Champions to our resume as well. This world does not belong to you. It belongs to us. Violent by Design faces their biggest challenge yet as they put the Impact World Tag Team Championships on the line in an eight-team elimination challenge. And right now, let's throw it to our ring announcer, David Penzer, for the rules of this championship contest. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the rules for the Impact World Tag Team Championship match. Two teams will start. 
Once one team has been eliminated by pinfall, submission, disqualification, or count out, they are eliminated and a new team enters. The final winning team will be declared the Impact World Tag Team Champions. Ladies and gentlemen, team number one, accompanied by Chelsea Green, Matt Cardona, and Brian Myers, major players! And one of the three teams yet to be announced reveals themselves and will have the inenviable task of starting the eight-team elimination challenge. Brian Myers and the digital media champion, Matt Cardona, who've already dubbed themselves the best tag team in the world. And I mean, Who's to argue with them? And after they walk out with World Tag Team Gold, it'll just solidify it. I mean, who better to start this and work all the way through than the most professional wrestler, Brian Myers, and the digital media world champion amongst his many, many other monikers, Matt Cardona. I, I appreciate the confidence, Raywald, but uh, Myers and Cardona, A, not only seen, uh, been on the same page here at Impact Wrestling, also, They've never teamed together here at Impact Wrestling. But they've teamed together all over the world since their very, very beginning in professional wrestling. Brothers fight, Tom. You know what I mean? It happens. But their bond runs thick. So who will be the second team to enter the Elimination Challenge? Oh, well, this is fitting. Their opponents first from Austin, Texas. Jordan Grace! Jordan Grace waving at Matt Cardona, who screwed her out of the Digital Media Championship once, but, uh, wait, who's her, who's her partner? Unexpected, but what a powerhouse of a tandem to kick this eight-team elimination challenge off. W. Morrissey and Jordan Grace looking for tag team gold. You never know what's gonna happen in Impact Wrestling, baby. Morrissey and Grace recently teamed up on Impact Wrestling on Access TV to fend off the major players because of them taking liberties with the likes of ECW legends, Guido Maritato and Tony Mamaluke. Morrissey and Grace came to their aid, and at the same time, they took the opportunity to put Matt Cardona oh, through a table. Yes, of course, when they double teamed a helpless, defenseless Matt Cardona and just brutalized him with that choke slam through the table. I remember what, that now. Considering what Cardona especially did to Jordan Grace, taking away the Digital Media Championship and the way that he turned his back on so many Impact Wrestling fans and the locker room, Grace bore the brunt of that. I mean, what, doing what he had to do to win a championship? You think Jordan Grace in her entire career has never uh, oh. taken a little bit of a shortcut to get a championship or a championship opportunity? Please. Oh. Jordan Grace has tweeted that she wants to win every championship in this company. Recently, she was in a Ultimate X match with the Multiverse of Matches earlier this month, trying to win the X Division crown. She's already been a Knockouts World Champion. She's been a digital media champion. She can become the first person ever to win the Knockouts World title and an Impact World Tag Team title. Whoa. Oh my God! There's a cover to advance and a kick out. So from Tomohiro Ishii lifting Jonah into a brain buster, and then Jordan Grace deadlifting Brian Myers off the ground into a suplex. There's a lot on display here at Rebellion. Morrissey and Morrissey no doubt wants a piece of Brian Myers after months of frustration. Instead, Matt Cardona tags himself in, and Ray Walt, let's remember the emotional moment that W. Morrissey shared with the Impact Wrestling fans at the 2300 in Philadelphia that was ruined and destroyed by the major players. They ultimately put Morrissey through a table that night. And look, and I, I've said it as much on air and, and backstage, behind the scenes, everywhere. Oh. I, I may be a big fan of the major players as, as professional wrestlers, but oh. 
All the history I know of that man right there. It was uncalled for interrupting what he was saying. Sidewalk slam from the Big Tan Machine, and now in comes Jordan Grace. I'm gonna say, I like this tag team so far. I mean, oh my God. Look at the setup. Oh! The seven footer with the assist on the big boot. Here's the cover by Grace, and it's broken up by Myers, but still, both these teams, despite their personal issues, they're starting this eight team elimination challenge. It's not easy. This is the definition of Whoa. a scenario. Oh. Uh, wait a minute. Now Chelsea Green running interference oh. with Morrissey inside. Cardona! Referee waved his hands off. He said shoulders down. And Chelsea Green paying dividends. Whoa, oh, come on! So Grace and Morrissey have been eliminated. Get them up. You have been eliminated. Look, I know you're frustrated, but this is uncalled for. Double track slam. The two-on-one opportunity from the major players, thanks to Chelsea Green, led to the sneak pinfall there on Jordan Grace. But now. What now? What now? It gets worse. Grace through the ropes. These guys still got oh, yeah. several was, other teams. What is going on, Chelsea Green? That defending. was not wise. Guys, we still have a tag team championship elimination challenge to go on. We're still waiting on another team to eventually come out here to face the major players. But right now, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. He's always wanted to put Myers through a table. Cardona interrupts. No, come on, not again. Oh, it's Cardona's not again. Turn. Oh, a low blow. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, Cardona into the barricade. Oh, whoa, 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 what the hell? What are you, what are you, whoa, 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 what is going on here? Oh, my. Wait, are you? <laughs> Cardona's used to cup in the past. Too smart for the major players. Oh my God! Oh my God! No! 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 Don't do this! Big Chelsea Green through the table.
So the major players after a major fiasco with Morrissey and Grace are gone. I mean, there's no doubting the Good Brothers' talents. We know that, but there's a huge asterisk on this entire matchup now, if you ask me. Poor Chelsea. Yeah, Matt, Matt make sure she's okay. Get her out of here. A travesty has been committed here at Rebellion. So who will be the fourth team? Oh, this will be interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, the next team, Johnny Swinger and Ziggy Tiles. Well, do you remember the uh, jump, jump challenge? How could I forget? Johnny Swinger and Sicky Dice, they put on the jump, jump challenge for any two, quote, chumps to come out and face them in a tag team match because Johnny Swinger is overseeing Sicky Dice's uh, maturation as a wrestler within Swinger's dungeon, among other things. And the people who answered the jump, jump challenge were the Good Brothers, who literally destroyed Sicky Dice in a matter of seconds. Well, now it's a shot for, oh, I was going to say a redemption. Come on, Ziggy, it's your chance. The dungeon's finest. Oh, now Johnny Swinger. Trying to hold on to Carly. Oh, okay. Rule number one, don't punch your partner. Well, they didn't get there yet. They didn't get to rule one? It's fine, Buster. Oh. There's a long, complicated, uncomfortable process in the dungeon, in Swinger's dungeon. I'm sure it's uncomfortable. Now the Cut Brothers, another magic killer. And it looks like another one, two, three. They're moving on. Maybe uh, a little more time in the dungeon. Four teams. Johnny Swinger and Ziggy Dice have been eliminated. So four teams have now competed. Well, I guess it's back to the drawing shackles for Ziggy Dice and Johnny Swinger. <laughs> it's all right, it's a, it's a learning curve. There's a process here. The question is now, who was the next team to enter this championship elimination challenge match? The Good Brothers, they want their tag team titles back. They will go through anyone to get them. Oh, boy. And it's Rich Swan and Willie Mack out next. Ladies and gentlemen, the next team, Rich Swan and Willie Mack. Swan and Mack have been one of the best teams in the Impact Tag Team Division for quite some time. Whoa. This could be their moment to shine. Inside the ring, outside the ring. One of the best and most exciting tag teams in Impact Wrestling. And Rich Swan is feeling confident here in Poughkeepsie. Now Willie Mack directing traffic. Watch this. Swan and Mack wipe out Gallows and Anderson inside the ring. Anderson stuck with a former Impact World Champion right now in Rich Swan. So you know what it's like to be in these style of matches. What are the Good Brothers experiencing now as it's team after team after team? Well, you just, you got to pace yourself. That's one thing. This is the definition of one of those situations where it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. You got to make sure you put your opponent away, but you also have to save some gas in the tank for your next one. And yeah, three more teams still to come. Oh, and Swan able to drop Anderson. Even though the Good Brothers have been able to get through their competition in short order, there's still the physical toll as these matches wear on. You're getting surprised at some points. You just don't know who's going to come out, and you have to think about the long game. Tag made. In comes Willie Mack. That's the other thing, too. The opponents, with the exception of Violent by Design, who we know will be the final entrant in this matchup. The order of opponents to everybody else is random. You don't know who will be coming out next if you are the one who continues to win and win and win your way oh. to facing Violent by Design at the end. Now Willie Mack, former X Division champion, throwing up a, a version of the two sweet there at Gallows. Tag made, Rich Swan is legal. Hey, 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 hey. 
Got their design set on the machine gun. And some great teamwork now coming in. Oh! Coming in hard there on Anderson. And Willie Mack changes the pace, and now Rich Swan legal. Here's a cover to advance, and a kick out by Anderson. Oh. Rich Swan, a former Impact World Champion in his own right. Looking to add some tag team gold to the resume, but Carl Henderson tag. taking the tactics he's known and used for years to take advantage once again. Had a little fun with the previous two teams, I guess you could say, by uh, Good Brothers standards, and now it's time to get nasty, and that's what Gallows and Anderson have done so well on their way towards seven World Tag Team titles. Oh! One right of the, the most decorated teams in all of professional wrestling, no doubt. But the tag team division here in Impact Wrestling is absolutely stacked, as we're seeing from Rich Swan and Willie Mack right now. Swan lighting up a much bigger Gallows. Oh, and that comes to an end. You see, that's all it took. Gallows weathered that storm, put up one big boot, and down goes Swan. And here there's clubbing rights and lefts from the big LG. Swan just getting shellacked right now. And listen, we talk about the doings of the Bullet Club as of late. It's been a challenging night for the Bullet Club. Chris Bay falling to Eddie Edwards on the countdown to Rebellion. Jay White, the triple threat match earlier tonight, did not go his way against Saban and the winner, Steve Macklin. Now it's a good brother's chance to right the ship. It'll be their opportunity to right it all for Bullet Club and bring home those Impact World Tag Team Championships, and it's looking good right now. Stalling suplex, all the blood rushing to the head. Here's the cover to advance in a kick cap by Swan. You see Willie Mack, he was right there, ready to make the save if necessary. This is an opportunity Gallows and Anderson want to continue to exploit. If you can protect Swan from making a tag to Mac, Gallows could just have a field day here with a much smaller opponent. And his tag team one on one. You cut the ring off, cut it in half if you can, if not more so. Really keep control of your more beaten down, weaker opponent. It's the little things with the Good Brothers. Yes, they love to party. They are rock stars everywhere they go, but they are as nuanced and skilled in tag team wrestling as they come. You saw Gallows, the foot on the hand there of Rick Swan, and now Anderson. Even, going to yeah, small little thing right here. During this chin lock, even though he's trying to wear down Rich, he puts his body in between Willie Mack and Rich Swan until Rich was able to switch the hips there and change the direction. Little things, little things like that can totally shift the momentum of matches. Oh! What about maybe a Bronco Buster in the corner? And now Rick Swan with a great window of opportunity. I talked about these matches, those things changing the momentum. Rich just tried to change Carl Anderson's momentum there. And now, oh, God! Gnarly elbow right to the back of the neck of Rich Swan. That is one way to prevent your opponent from making a tag. And now raining down again, left and right elbows this time to Rich Swan. 18 elimination challenge match for the Impact World Tag Team title. Still three more teams have to compete in this. So if you're Swan and Mack or even Gallows and Anderson, whoever advances here has taken a lot of punishment, has exerted a lot of energy in this stanza of the match. Now Swan put a check the chin there of Gallows. And to your point, even though Rich Swan and Willie Mack are technically the freshest. Oh. If they, even if they got a win, and it could with the big tag to Willie Mack here, there's still a lot of match left for these championships. And now Willie Mack is going after Carl Anderson. Whoa! Oh, and a shot there at Gallows. And the big LG is down. Back inside the ring, machine gun Carl Anderson fires back. Trying to turn the momentum back in the Bullet Club's favor. Up on the shoulders of Samoan drop. And Willie Mack. And a little bread and butter. He's got 
you in his sights. Could this be it? Oh, what a kick out. Back and Swan nearly advanced. Billy Mack's got to keep it in focus. Willie Arnold looking to crack some cold ones open with a big dub here. Looking to put away Carl Anderson. Thinking about the number one stunner. No, it's blocked by Anderson. Spinbuster. And now Anderson into a cover. Shoulders down. Oh, and a kick out by Mack. Both their tag team partners are down, so Anderson and Mack continue to go at it. Great momentum shift here from Carl Anderson with the huge spine buster on Willie Mack. And once again, the Good Brothers in firm control. And while back to live action, could it be time for a magic killer? Trying to set it up. Rich Swan attacking Anderson. Great timing from Rich there. Oh! And Callison out of the ring. Look at the eyes of Willie Mack. He is fired up. Carl Anderson showing you why he is a multi-time tag team champion across the world. Oh, and it's Mack going up top, and he is halted by Anderson. Chop right to the chest. And now in a dangerous, dangerous place. Oh. On a headbutt dropping Anderson. Oh, now Whoa. Gallows. Gallows trying to slow up Mack. The official didn't see the contact. Was still with Anderson. Willie Mack keeps fighting, though, from every angle. Oh! And that was nasty. The right left the... knee of Mack caught on the top row. Oh. Just an unfortunate series of events for Mack and Swan. And you got to imagine, here it comes. The Good Brothers took advantage. Magic killer. Referee didn't see the involvement of Gallows. Good Brothers advance. Rich Swan and Willie Mack have been eliminated. Another ma magic killer. Another victory on the way to the end of this tag team elimination challenge. Take another look at this. Like the other two teams before, boom, it was a magic killer. And that was all she wrote. But the Good Brothers certainly had to fight for this one. I don't know if I'd use the word earned it, considering the involvement of Gallows while the referee was dealing with Anderson. The question is now how much is left in the tank of the Good Brothers and how much I was actually just going to ask, who is the next opponent? We have our answer. But... The next team accompanied to the ring by Maria, representing honor no more, Matt Taven and Mike Bennett. Hold on a second. So Penzer's not wrong. Uh, Taven and Bennett are the representatives for honor no more in this right. match. Was, did something change? Is it Vincent and Kenny King? Card is subject to change. Of, oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. More trying to pull the tricks they've been pulling since they stepped foot in here. Oh, and on a cover, a cover. I don't know more. Pulls a fast one on the Good Brothers. The Good Brothers have been eliminated. I don't know if you guys could see it on the monitor, but Maria Canellas had the foot of Matt Taven so that Anderson couldn't kick out. From very one hour, watch out for oh. Matt Taven diving onto the pile here. But he ended up diving onto his honor no more teammates as the Good Brothers now look for some vengeance. That's courtesy of Callis and Anderson. Oh. Magic killer to Taven. Taven and Bennett screwed honor no more in the Lumberjack match. Or rather, honor no more screwed the Good Brothers in a Lumberjack match. And again, Taven and Bennett get to Callis and Anderson tonight. As you look right there, Matt Taven diving onto what he thought was the Good Brothers, but only catching his honor no more brethren. Two more teams Ladies to come. Ladies and gentlemen, the next team, Heath and the War Machine Rhino. Now Rhino and Heath, who found in 
2022 to become Impact World Tag Team Champions. They're familiar foes in honor no more. Bennett is back in the situation, though. Reminder, Matt Taven just caught a magic killer on the outside of the ring. One half of the kingdom is now in rubble. And now it's Rhino into the ring. This means there's only one more team to come in this eight-team elimination challenge. Great opportunity, great draw here for Rhino and Heath at this point in the match, and it doesn't hurt oh. to have that emotional boost, so to speak. Remember the No Surrender event where Rhino was on Team Impact trying to keep Honor No More out of Impact Wrestling. And now the big thing for both these teams is Try to beat your opponent as quick as you can because the next team to come through that goal are the tag team champions themselves. And they will have the energy, the time advantage that you don't. So try to put this one away quick. Heath has been the longtime friend of Rhino. Helped draw Rhino away from the clutches of Violent by Design last year. Heath, who missed the better part of a year with a serious injury that nearly ended his career and very recently was challenging for the Impact World Championship. Oh, Maria once again making her oh. presence known here at ringside where Honor No More goes, Maria Canellas follows. The official keeping an eye on Rhino, but the instigation from Bennett does not see what's happening here. Canellis and Taven getting away with some fast ones there. Now the official all over Taven. And that's the honor no more we've come to know. And now Bennett. Suplex middle of the ring on Heath. Here's the cover. Forearm in the face and a kick out by Heath. And now Bennett and Taven in firm control of Heath as he reaches for a tag. Oh, big forearm. Taven with a drop kick. Beautiful teamwork to move on in this elimination challenge and a kick out. Really showing what a well oiled machine Honor No More is, but especially Taven and Bennett who have so much tag team experience together. Oh! Twisting neck breaker there and now a tag made. Now a cover. Bennett trying to capitalize quickly and a kick out by Heath. David and Bennett, who have been tag team champions in promotions like Ring of Honor, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Very first night that they burst onto the scene here was in January at the Hard to Kill pay-per-view. And on that night, Matt Taven put his hands on the Impact World Tag Team titles and said, these look good, and we'll take these. You have to imagine they've been manifesting that since that moment. And here they are with the opportunity on a silver platter in front of them but they still have to get through Heath and Rhino and the tag team champions, Violent by Design. And a tag made, in comes the man beast. Oh. Rhino against Taven. And once the war machine starts running, it's hard to shut him oh. down. Oh, and Rhino independent. Here's the cover, tucks the arm, Heath protects his partner. Great spotting there from Heath, but oh. Bennett cleaning the clock. Discus forearm, and now it's Rhino. Dealing with OGK. Oh, and Heath with a big right hand. Heath somehow stayed in this, oh, oh no. Awful miscommunication there, unfortunate for Heath and Rhino. Hold on a second. Going for the proto pack and a gore! Gore! Right on the cover! Hit the right to move on! David and Bennett have been eliminated! And you know what that means? One more team remaining! Heath and Rhino are this close to the Impact World Tag Team Championship! Ladies and gentlemen, your final team, they are the Impact World Tag Team Champions, Violent Boy Design! And how apropos that Ethan Rhino could walk out of rebellion 
as tag team champions after defeating the very group that held Rhino in a sort of mental prison for so long. And as beautiful as a story as that might be, it is a big ask, it is a tall task to take down Eric Young, Joe Dory, Violent by Design. VBD were so vehement to get back their tag team titles because their previous reign came to an end at Slamversary 2021 in a match that involved Rhino representing VBD and was the man who was in that night to lose the championship. That is why VBD went after the Good Brothers, got the tag team titles back. They believe the tag team titles are their power, them staking their claim here in this company. But right now, Rhino, some leftover pent up rage, but right now, Here's Eli the cover, here's the cover, and a kick out. Has immediately turned that around. Violent by design tied for the fourth most impact world tag team title reigns in this company's history. They were introduced 15 years ago. Oh! Meeting in the middle there with Rhino. Very interesting. Free word rule applies for VBD. Hold on, here's the cover. To retain, kick out by Rhino. It's Doring and Young representing Violent by Design tonight. Meanwhile, Diener is still here literally carrying the banner for VBD. Always to be thought of on the outside as well. And Rhino and Heath just went through a bit of a war themselves with OGK and Honor No More and are up against a very, very game champion Here's the VBD. Here's the majority of the five count there was Joe Doring. Gotta be careful not to risk disqualification. Oh! Down goes Rhino. Here's the cover by Eric Young in a kick out. Uh, and you gotta be imagining what's happening in the mind of Rhino right now. The horrors of the last few years are being revisited right now. Well, he's gotta keep a focus. That's the thing. It's very understandable if he were having almost flashbacks, reliving some of the, the pain, the trauma that VBD inflicted upon him. But you get, you're in a championship oh. matchup. You gotta focus on the task at hand as the hair of the man beast is tossed in an almost celebratory manner by the leader of VBD, Eric Young. By the by design, they defeated the Good Brothers last mo month at the Sacrifice event, successfully defended within a lumberjack match against the Good Brothers to fight despite controversy, courtesy of Taven and Bennett. Oh! And now look at Rhino battle out of the corner. See, Eric Young was talking some trash to Heat there, allowing Rhino just enough time to recover, and as he's fighting back now. Rhino and Heat, they withstood honor no more. Now the last team, Violent by Design, has entered this eight-team elimination challenge. Rhino trying to fight his way through the thicket. Oh, Young and strong, and is blocked by the War Machine. Rhino starting oh. to feel I was gonna say a little bit momentum on his side, but both wrestlers, same idea. And now look at where Rhino is, makes a tag Got it. to Heath. Heath into the matchup, goes after Eric Young. Heath relatively fresh at this point. But he has still been in another matchup prior to this. BBD is fresh, cover to win the titles, and a kick out by Young. Eric Young staying in this one, keeping the championship around the waist for now, but he wanted to close this out. Oh, wait a minute, it's going for a pile driver on Young. A little insult to injury on the way there. Oh, and a wake up call, wake up call. Here's the cover on the foot of Young on the ropes. I can only imagine Diener put it there. Oh, well, that, that we didn't see that on camera. That's a big assumption. Oh. But what's not an assumption is the lariat Joe Dorian just gave Heath. Now Heath is back inside the ring. Young the cover and a kick out by Heath. And if there's one thing we know about Heath, it's that he has heart and a heart that beats but how much more is left in the body of Heath? Rhino, as you see, nowhere to be found. 
can't even make a tag. Oh, Young. Young out onto the apron. Great recovery there. Hold on. Oh, oh, look at Heath. Close range with a power slam to win the championship. Cover broken up by the monster, Dory. And one monster brings in another. Rhino coming to meet Doring in the middle of the ring. And down goes Doring hard. Oh, hold up here, Rhino. Reminder, I mean, Rhino, you're not the legal man. You can't get the win here. Dana trying to tell Young, look out, look out. Doring prevents Rhino. Face first into the steel post. Doring picked his spot as soon as Rhino was going to go for that gore. He grabbed the leg, and now it's back to EY and Heath. Uh, now Young wanted a pile driver of his own on Heath. Heath reversed it. Going for a wake up call one more time. Yeah, no. Young held on. And now Young up and down. Driver! Cover! File it by design with Stan, the A-Team Elimination Challenge! Here are your winners and still Impact World Tag Team Champions, Violent by Design! Violent by Design, the benefit of entering this A-Team match last, but Heath and Rhino gave them everything they could handle. Put, a, put up a heck of a fight but the champions stay the champions. It has been a challenging night for champions here in Impact Wrestling as Violent by Design retain. Who will walk out of the MJN Center as the Impact World Champions? Champion, it is six months in the making. Josh Alexander, the walking weapon, prepping to take on the man who has attempted to ruin the life of not only him, but the lives of his family. Moose has stepped down to new lows, all to retain his Impact World Championship, and now Moose will defend against Josh Alexander. But first, Steels versus Rosemary. Steels set to defend her Impact Knockouts World Championship. Frog splash on Mickey James. Steels retains in the Philadelphia Street Fight. That's how you do it. Did it once again and beat the legend. I beat Mika James again. Any of you women in the knockout battle royal wins that battle royal, then you, you got Namorico badass at Rebellion. And you ain't gonna win, but you can try. Right now, we're about to learn who will be the number one contender to the Impact Knockouts World Championship come Rebellion. Savannah Evans went for the oh. beat, and down goes Grayson and Ray. Oh. Savannah Evans will not be challenging you, Tasha, come Rebellion. It's down to Shaw, Frost, and Rosemary. And now it's Frost and Rosemary that both go over that top rope. Shaw trying to eliminate them both. And she's, oh! oh Frost and Shaw are down. Rosemary's going to Rebellion to meet you, Tasha. The Knockouts World Champion standing defiant standing confident in the face of decay, of the face of Rosemary. Those mind games that Rosemary wants to play with me, I will be ready. I am the knockout world champion. See, I run this show. I run this ish. Your ego's been running away with her, hasn't it? Do you know what that sin is, dear? It's pride. And it's got our attention again. So prepare yourself for rebellion, Tasha, because if you're ready to play again, we're ready to make you decay again. Tonight, Tasha Steeles is channeling Scar from the Lion King. She told me earlier tonight she was here to take over just like Scar. She said, quote, I took out Mickey James like Scar took out Mufasa. I love it. The confidence. 
Sasha Steeles, while she was able to win the title for Mickey James, defended successfully in a Philadelphia street fight with help from Savannah Evans. This is the first new challenger for this relatively new Knockouts World Champion. How does Steeles handle Rosemary? She handles Rosemary the same way she's handled business since day one. At least that she's handled business since winning that Knockouts World Championship. Like she said, she put down the greatest can, uh, many people consider in Mickey James. Ladies and gentlemen, Rebellion continues with this Knockouts World Championship match. It is set for one fall, your referee, Daniel Spencer. Introducing first the challenger, accompanied to the ring by Havoc, representing DK. From the Valley of the Shadows, the number one contender, Rosemary. Her opponent accompanied to the ring by Savannah Evans from the Brick City. She is the defending knockouts world champion, Tosha Steeles. And there is the Knockouts World Championship, first captured back in 2007 by the Impact Hall of Famer, Gail Kemp. Tasha Steele's currently 49 days as champion. Could it all come crumbling down because of decay? Oh! And it is Rosemary, the aggressor, right off the bell. Is that the kind of champion you want to be, Rosemary? And whether you like it or not, it's all fair. The bell rang. How many times have we seen uh, the likes of, uh, I don't know, people you like, like Deanna Perrazzo do something like that? You've been, oh, great, fair game. Oh, no, 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 no. I call it straight down the middle. And now Rosemary, the full mount, raining down punches here on Tasha Steeles. There's just something about being in the ring with Decay you would know that is flat out different. It is a terrifying experience on any night, let alone a night where they're motivated by championship glory the way Rosemary is here at Rebellion. Oh, now Rosemary, who's been a staple of the Knockouts division for the better part of a decade here in this company, oh! goes into the upside down. And Havoc enjoying it on the outside. Breaks before the count of five, does Rosemary. You see the twisted eyes, the look in Rosemary's eye. It's different than any other night, like I said. This is a focus. This is a fiercer than usual Rosemary right now. And Tasha Steeles, the Knockouts World Champion, should watch out as we float it over here. Oh, going for a submission. Steeles has got to be careful. She doesn't submit, gets her feet on the bottom ropes. There's a great positioning from Tasha Steeles. Knew where she was, got her feet on the ropes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. Oh, you want to complain about Savannah Evans? Havoc better know not to get involved. Oh, oh. oh now Havoc. Hey, what are you doing? You can't do that. No, no. Excellent. Yes. Listen, the official doing the right thing. Havoc put her hands on a legal competitor, but still, this was Tasha Steeles instigating Havoc. Whoa, 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 whoa. She simply backed up into Havoc. Havoc was intimidating her. In theory, the official could have easily just disqualified Rosemary and Havoc and had this whole thing thrown out. Oh, now Steeles for the ropes and drops Rosemary. Considering the gravity of this match, the gravity of the Rebellion pay-per-view event, the official, I believe, did the right thing, allowing this match to continue and ejecting havoc. I agree with that. But still, this is Steeles, who made sure that Rosemary didn't have any backup at ringside, and that Steeles oh. still has Savannah Evans, and Rosemary's in trouble now. And now, it's all down to fair game. And Tasha Steele's about to show Ray Rosemary, about to show Rosemary that she is not the Simba of this story. Oh. As the Boricua badass unloads. And 
And now look at Tasha Seal. She went inside, reset the 10 count, deciding to continue to punish Rosemary. I'm the greatest that beat the greatest, baby. I'm the greatest and you hear that beat the there. greatest. From the champ herself, the greatest that beat the greatest. Not only in a straight up pro wrestling contest, but then followed that up with a street fight victory over Mickey James. Oh, how many people can say they felt a legend like that in that fashion? I said in the lead up to the, the two matches between Steels and Mickey James, the gravity of defeating Mickey James, it's a it's a tough mantle to wear. And give credit to Tasha Steels. She fits the role. She is a great champion, but she's got to continue to prove that as she takes on challengers like Rosemary. Oh. Can you imagine the Knockouts World Championship in the hive? of decay, what, what what would that even do oh. with that championship? There's the cover to retain. Tasha Steeles can't put away Rosemary. As I said, it's happened before. Rosemary's been a Knockouts World Champion in the past. That could turn the Knockouts division on its head, considering we already have a new uh, AAA Reina de Reina's champion and Taya Valkyrie. The influence retained their Impact Knockouts World Tag Team titles against the Inspiration earlier tonight, the Countdown to Rebellion, and Deanna Palazzo's down to just one title, the Ring of Honor Women's World Championship. Steele's trying to make some, trying to make Rosemary submit here, middle of the ring. You see they got to the ropes there briefly, but Tasha Steele's pulling her opponent back away. Great move. But somehow, some way, Rosemary finding her way up to her knees and gets into the ropes again. But she's not done. She's picking up the champ. Oh, to the knees, right to the face. Steels creates a little bit of space. It looked like Rosemary had some intentions there of lifting Tasha Steels off the mat, but the energy exerted coming out of that submission Gave Tasha Steeles just enough opening to hit those double knees. Oh! All right, back up, rising from the dead, it seemed. And Rosemary oh. taking a bite out of the Bariqua Badass! And now it's turned into a slugfest. Somehow, that's not ruled illegal. But alas, here we are, as this matchup just turned up a notch. Oh! Both women are down. The title shot at stake for Rosemary tonight at Rebellion. Tremendous opportunity. Meanwhile, Tasha Steele's trying to prove herself as a relatively new champion. Rosemary has an unbelievable ability to withstand punishment. That's something all the members of Decay have in such great amounts. This sick, twisted ability to pull from a deep, dark place and continue to fight as she steps on the gas pedal. And now Rosemary with the sling blade. With the eyes of Rosemary. That twisted smile on Rosemary's face Ooh. and now crashes down. They're on Tasha Steeles in the corner. Exploder suplex out into of the, the corner. corner. Into the cover to win the title. To win the title, Steeles is still alive. And another small thing, look at the way Steeles rolls right to the ropes after that kick out. She knows she can't be pinned if she's in the ropes. It's a smart, it's a veteran move. Oh, crashes into the corner, face first into the top turnbuckle. Oh! Creativity there by Tasha Steeles, caught up in the ropes. Now lining her up. She's trying to leap into a DDT, maybe. Oh, and now blocked by Rosemary. Now as we, oh! Flies in with a forearm. As we get deeper into this matchup, the exhaustion and the agony wearing on both opponents. It's who's gonna hit that final, that killing shot that'll get you the victory. Oh, wait a minute. I was trying to set up for maybe one more, uh, one more oh. chat there, Mickey James. 
Out of cover by Tasha Steeles. Here's the cover and a kick out. And it's going to take a little bit more than that to take down the champ. As you see a little bit of, I don't, I, I, I don't pride myself on being able to read the face of Rosemary, but frustration, anger building. Now Steeles able to evade out of the corner. Rosemary in pursuit, went for a cutter, did Steeles. Able to double over Rosemary. Great recovery though. Another attempt here. Oh, and you bet. He yes! Got it! The disrespect to Mickey James and her old rival Trish oh, Stratus. Here's the cover, shoulders down, and Rosemary kicked out. And you the can tell. You can tell Sasha Steele's now starting to get a little bit frustrated. Uh, frustrated? How about uh, cocky? How about petty? Especially going after Mickey James hey, again. Focus on your opponent. She is the champ. And now Savannah Evans dealing with the official. Just making sure everything's running all right. Uh, now Tasha Steele's is the title in her hands. No, 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 no. Oh, Savannah Evans levels Rosemary. I saw Tasha Steele's admiring her championship, focusing just like what you were saying on what's important. Well, that was trying to set up for the crucifix bomb, the blackout. There it is! Blackout to Rosemary. Oh, what? what a kick out! What? You've got to be kidding me. I don't believe, has anybody ever kicked out of the blackout? Uh, if they have, I haven't seen it. And Tasha Steeles is irate, and I cannot blame her. And now Steeles is going to the top rope. Desperate times call for desperate measures. All the way up top. No! Oh! Crash and burn going for the frog splash. That's helped her retain in the past against Mickey James. And now Savannah Evans again. Got her hands on Rosemary. The wild-eyed look of Rosemary after the green miss thought she had steals. I think a lot of us thought that. But now looking to lock up steals. Steals keeps fighting though. Champion knows what's on the line. Double underhook trying to set up Tasha Steals. Steals able to prevent it. Oh, this battle has gone so back and forth. Rosemary on the top turnbuckle, and now it steals. Who rushes oh. in with a cutter? Huge cutter. And now steals, dumping Rosemary. Steals retains. Here is your winner and still Knockouts World Champion, Tasha Steeles. Another Tasha Steeles title defense, more controversy about. Hey, she's continuing to cement her legacy on her journey to be one of the greatest knockout world champions of all time. Add another notch to the belt of the Boricua Badass. Tasha Steeles doing what she could. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Havoc eliminated from ringside during the matchup, but the match is over. And now Havoc is coming to clear house and protect Rosemary as Evans and Steeles certainly had something sinister in mind. And she can run in all she wants. It doesn't change the result. It doesn't change history. And the history books will say on this night at Rebellion, Tasha Steeles retains the Knockouts World Championship. Well, it has been a fantastic night here at Rebellion in Poughkeepsie, New York, live on pay-per-view and on Fight TV. And we want to let you know that the next time we come to you live will be in two weeks, Saturday, May 7th, in the greater Cincinnati area. 
for Under Siege. It'll be live on Impact Plus, Fight TV, and YouTube for our Ultimate Insiders. Tickets are on sale now at impactwrestling.com. However, the next time that we come to you on pay-per-view will be June 19th to celebrate Impact Wrestling's 20-year anniversary. Slammiversary returns home. It's an evening that revolves around history. Anniversary returns home to Nashville, and more than that, you can get tickets this coming Friday, April 29th, at ImpactWrestling.com. Be a part of the 20-year celebration of Impact Wrestling at Slammiversary. Slammiversary Sunday, June 19th. But right now, it is time for our main event. The question is, will Josh Alexander exact his revenge on Moose for the events of Bound for Glory? Christian Cage, his arm is given out! We that's it, that's it, that's Josh Alexander just did it! Alexander's son and wife just had to watch that. I saw Josh's family in the ring. Honestly, I had no thoughts in my mind. I have no conscience. I proved that I was going to do whatever it took to become Impact World Champion. Josh, what are you doing? Let him go! Let him go! Josh, Josh, no, 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 no! Scott, this is not about the belt! I understand, Josh. My family was in there. Stay focused. Stay focused, you're going to get where you're supposed to be. You have to get your emotions in check. I had to fight Minoru Suzuki, I had to fight Jonah, and I had to fight Charlie Haas, and countless others. Those are obstacles, those were barriers, I moved them all out the way. Don't do this to this Scott DeMore! What the hell more do you want, Josh? If you don't give me my well-earned Impact World Championship rematch, you quite possibly could be looking at the soon-to-be hottest free agent in pro wrestling. You're out of line. Till you get straight, I'm sorry, Josh. I'm sending you home. Wait a minute, that's Josh Alexander. Oh, a more spike to Moose. Rebellion, Moose against Josh Alexander, one on one. And you are looking at the next Impact World Champion. Tell your dad Moose said hi. It's personal now. The walking weapon, the Josh Alexander, the professional wrestler, he's dangerous. You walk around calling yourself the walking weapon. You can't even protect your damn family. Josh Alexander, the husband, the father, the one that needs that Impact World Championship, the one that needs to beat you and embarrass you with rebellion, that's the most dangerous person you're ever going to be. I know Alexander and Moose going at it. Alexander's got a hold of Moose. See for spike through the table. For months, Josh Alexander has felt nothing but pain, loss, and disappointment in rebellion. The emotional and psychological storm that Josh Alexander has been suffering for months comes to a head now. It's our main event, Impact World Championship, Moose and Josh Alexander. Josh 
Josh Alexander earlier on tonight confessed to his wife, Jen, their son, Jen, <laughs> who is accompanying Josh Alexander to the ring tonight. What, I mean, what a special touch for this match. Look, I, I don't want to step out of place, step over any kind of line, but I do have to ask, given what happened the last time Moose and Josh Alexander were in a championship scenario and his son and family were around, what happened? That's all I'm gonna say. Is this the move for Josh Alexander? This is Josh Alexander embracing what this is all about absorbing all this emotion, coming to the ring with his son, Jen, his wife, Jen, at ringside. This is not running from all that anger and frustration that Moose has tried to inflict on him and his family. It's it's taking it all, it's channeling it into this. That's what Scott DeMore's been talking about. That said, that's great. And uh, the family, his, his wife, wife right there in the front row. Most other times, I would say absolutely, I hear you. Know what Moose can and is capable of when it involves Josh Alexander's family. What's to say he won't do it tonight? of Impact Wrestling. But during that time, Josh Alexander became known as the standard of Impact Wrestling by countless members of the Impact Wrestling roster and beyond. That bothers the self-proclaimed wrestling god, Moose. This is about defending the one thing in this world that he cares about, his Impact World Championship. And so far, you see right now, where Moose's eyes were locked there, right on the family of Josh Alexander, and that's exactly what I was talking about. This is not over. Josh Alexander has weathered everything to get here. He has earned this spot, but it is not over until that bell rings. And until that happens, Moose will control the psychological pace of this matchup, I have zero doubt. There was something that you and I sat in astonishment is now, Jen and Jen are gonna have to watch here from ringside as this match plays out. But you and I were astonished at the multiverse of matches, the restraint of Josh Alexander. Now he gets his opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your rebellion main event of the evening. It is for the Impact World Championship set for one fall. When the bell rings, your referee is Brian Hebner. Introducing first in the corner to my left, the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander. His opponent in the corner to my right, he represents Moose Nation. He is the defending Impact World Champion. He is Moose. Moose changed Josh Alexander's whole world in two minutes and 37 seconds. That is how long Alexander held the Impact World Championship for before it was ripped away by Moose with the call your shot opportunity at Bound for Glory this past October. 
And I got to imagine six months of pent up rage. Anger is oozing out of Josh Alexander. Here we go. And Moose expected Alexander to charge him, but now Alexander embracing the moment. Not going to let Moose get in his head. Quite frankly, so did I. I was gearing up for Josh Alexander to explode in a fit of rage. And Moose doing everything he can to bait Josh Alexander early on, takes Moose off his feet and elbows and knees to the ribs. Josh Alexander says, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to beat you in that ring. This is the chance that Josh Alexander has wanted to let all those emotions out from the last six months. Scott DeMore has been trying to preach to his once pupil, hey, keep your emotions in check. Now it's, a, now it's about manhandling Moose. But again, I have to call back. This is not done and dusted. This is not over. There is still a lot of matchup to be had here. A lot of opportunity for Moose to play on the emotions, especially with Josh Alexander's family. Goes to the knee, goes to the knee, goes to the ankle lock, ankle lock, and Moose able to get out of the ring. And he does, smart move by the Impact World Champion, creating that space. Moose, some frustration early. Champion's advantage, of course. Title cannot change hands via count out or disqualification. Moose taking his time. And once again, I'll give more credit to the walking weapon as well. Letting Moose get back in there. You need to chase him out to beat him up on um, pillar to post. He's keeping things in check so far. I got to give the got to give the challenger credit. What's that outclass Moose in the ring? And as his family said earlier on tonight to him, his wife Jen especially was, do not let all the events of the last six months get in your head. Do what you came here to do. A journey that's literally been 17 years in professional wrestling, 17 years in the making to become Impact World Champion. All right, most to the outside. And I give him credit, because that is a job easier said than done. I can speak as a husband. When someone gets involved with your family, it is not easy to let that go. And as you see right there. Oh. On our Alexander protecting his family. He's had enough, and that's the first time Josh Alexander has lost his cool. Oh, and and there, it cost him. That is where most tanks advantage. How your ribs feel, huh? Absolutely disgusting for Moose. Speared Janet Ooh. at an event at Destiny Wrestling a number of weeks ago, right in front of Josh Alexander and their kids. Oh, into the post. I am not going to condone any of the things Moose has done involving Josh Alexander's family. 100% reprehensible. However, if it leads him to retaining his championship, he wins. Josh needs to keep that in mind throughout this entire contest. Oh, it ain't over till it's over. Sternum first into the top turnbuckle, and Moose has owned the depths that he's gone to. He says he understands those lows and how they are despicable, but he doesn't care. It's all about keeping the Impact World Championship. Moose is being quoted as saying, I don't have a conscience. He does not care. He is all about business. He is all about success. And he is all about that Impact World Championship. Oh. Sick thud. Oh. There's some of the resolve of Josh Alexander. Oh. The ever defiant walking weapon letting Moose know. Oh. Right back to the face there of Moose. Oh, and only taking off the Impact World Champion, and here comes Alexander. Alexander, oh, cut down by Moose. Oh, and now Alexander with a big right. What a drop kick from Moose. Both these Titans knocking each other around like bulls, but it is the Moose 
who puts Josh Alexander down. This is Josh Alexander, though. He keeps on coming back. Remember, suffered neck injuries in 2013 and 2015, especially. They nearly ended his career. Oh, he took time off to heal, and he came back to the sport that he loved. Got an opportunity here in Impact, and has fought his way to the top. And another notch in the favor of Josh Alexander. He was actually quoted this week as talking about how the longer this goes on. Hold on, here's a cover by Alexander, kick out. Said the longer this goes on, the bigger advantage he believes he has. His gas tank, his endurance is more than almost anybody I've ever seen in pro oh. wrestling. Moose needs to shut this down quick if he wants to come out on top, in my opinion. Off the top rope, throat first went Moose. Alexander, the cross oh. the back. And Moose had it scouted. Oh, the Moose into the post. Great strength from the world champion there. Alexander tied up with Moose. Moose trying to counter. Alexander's all over him. And now Moose. rolls back inside the ring. And even the headgear of Josh Alexander can't protect him from being swung around like a rag doll into steel. Count of three, Alexander is to the count of 10 to get back inside the ring or risk the count out loss. And you see Moose in no hurry count to go six. bring him back in. And Alexander dives back inside. Moose, abdominal stretch here in the middle of the ring. Look at the gigantic smile on the face of Moose. Well, he knows the kind of damage he just did to Josh on the outside, to the back, the midsection, and now he's going to take his time picking it apart in the center of the ring. Look at that, look at that. Oh, and Alexander. Alexander going after the hand here on Moose, trying to break his grip. Oh! A little bit of that small joint manipulation, pulling at the fingers of Moose. Oh! oh. Overhand, belly to belly. Think about all the obstacles that Josh Alexander had to overcome, the likes of Minoru Suzuki, Christian Cage, Jonah, Charlie Haas, Chris Sabin, Ace Austin, and more. He's been through everything on top of all those incredible wrestling contests that were thrown his way. The emotional toll that Moose has taken on him and his family. Blows the pass, Moose. Oh, and a boot in the face. The fact that Josh Alexander has made it to Rebellion is a testament to who he is as an athlete. But now he's got to get the Joe oh. done. Moose sent reeling after the props here by Alexander. And Josh Alexander is relentless. And that raw emotion, the anger of Josh Alexander pouring out. And it's understandable. It's even respectable. He's got to be careful. He's, yes, though. absolutely. It's I was just about to say that. He's got to be careful. He doesn't risk disqualification. I know it feels good, Josh to let that all out. But if you get disqualified, that lasts all of about five seconds, and then you'll realize what's happened. And oh. now it's to the back with a crossbody. Alexander, however, the injured ribs in the process. Alexander taking a look at his family, pointing at his wife, Jen, his son, Jack. Remind yourself what you're fighting for and why you're fighting. Tossing Moose back inside the ring. Title can only change hands for your pinfall or submission in the ring. And now Moose at the feet, at the mercy of Josh Alexander. 
And Josh keeping himself as composed as he can be in this moment. Could be looking for that C4 spike, yes. though. Trying to set up for the C4 spike, and now Moose, Moose trying to block it. A slips away from Alexander and a chop. And here comes Alexander. Another spot where Alexander's got to be careful. And Alexander's all over the all over Moose. I was going to say, smart move for Moose getting into that corner. All the way for the pump kick again, trying to capitalize. Oh. Like Moose did on the outside, but this time Alexander had an answer. And Josh holds on to that German suplex, looking to chain oh. them together. The grip, tenacious, almost as tenacious as the athlete himself. Another German. Pretty soon this crowd here. Oh! And Poughkeepsie's gonna start counting along. Trying to muscle Moose back up to his feet. Alexander continues the onslaught. Well, it's more and more damage is done to the Impact World Champion. He can, becomes more and more lifeless, more for Josh Alexander to pick up and suplex. That is six German suplexes all in a row. And he's not done yet. Another suplex. Make it seven. They say seven's a lucky number, but it's not quite lucky enough for the walking weapon right now. How much more can Moose take? How much more of this can Alexander dish out? That's number eight. But Alexander's grip has not wavered. Even if the body of the champion has. Nine! You have to imagine he's got double digits on his mind. Finally, Alexander releases. Clearly, Alexander has beaten the body of Moose. But how much energy did he expend himself? Alexander, what is he thinking here on Moose? Has delivered a ton of punishment. Could be time for the C4 spike. Look. C4 spike. Looking to close this out. A Moose able to evade and able to dump Alexander. The fact that Moose is still standing and fighting is incredible. Boot right to the face. Alexander able to block. Oh, great elevation on the drop kick by Moose. Sky high out of the corner to retain kick out. And you saw Moose scream into the face of his challenger, go to hell, before driving him exactly that way. But somehow, Josh Alexander stays in this one. What an effort by Josh Alexander in this match, but still Moose is up. And he's lining up the challenger. Thinking about the spear, oh, into the corner, shoulder first. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. German suplex. Oh my God. Moose with a pump kick. Incredible resilience from the champion here. Oh, went for a cross, oh. Oh. Alexander with the oh. ankle lock. Right into the ankle lock. lock, incredible counter. Ankle what a lock. move. Moose gonna tap. They're in the dead center of the ring. Moose is gonna have to pull himself almost all the way across the ring to get to the bottom rope. How much is left in the heart of the champion? Chance of tap here in the impact zone. Moose struggling, trying to get to the bottom rope. The pain edged on the champion's face. He needs, he desperately needs to get to that rope if he wants to retain his title. And Moose, Moose, is he gonna tap? Is he gonna tap? No, he gets to the bottom rope. That'll break the submission. And you see the exhaustion 
Also on the face of Josh Alexander. I mentioned before the endurance of Josh Alexander, but Moose has been very impressive this deep into the contest, continuing to fight. Kicks right to the side of the head by Moose. Alexander wanted the ankle, but wait a second. Oh! Moose only ticked off Josh. Those grazing boots to the head, just making the challenger angry. Alexander challenging Moose to get up and fight like a man. It's a test of pure will here in the main event of Rebellion. Oh! Alexander with a forearm there. And now Moose Ooh, dropping Alexander. How much more of this could Josh Alexander absorb? You see the Josh Alexander ever defiant, shaking his head no every time Moose tells him to stay down. Obstacle after obstacle after obstacle. Alexander has come back from them all. But how much more punishment can the walking weapon take? Oh. And now Moose, Uranagi! The cover to retain the title, kick out at one! Oh, and Alexander right up to his feet! And it is an all-out battle between Alexander and Moose! Oh, a nasty headbutt! Take a look at how close this one comes. It's the C4 spike oh. from the walking weapon into the cover here, but Moose knows where he is, and the foot hits the rope just in the nick of time. Somehow, Alexander is not deterred. Continues in this fight. He has to be. Oh! What oh, another C4 spike, but Moose able to keep him at bay. Moose had just enough time to catch some air. Oh, God! Oh, he's biting Alexander. Look at the teeth. A lot of lean into by the official. It is the main event of this pay per view. Rebellion, six months in the making this match. We are gonna have a damn winner tonight. That shows you what Moose is willing to do to retain his world championship. There on the top, top rope here.
We talked about the gas tank, the endurance of Josh Alexander, and he is showing it right now, somehow kicking out of that huge top rope superplex. But now, Moose wants to line this one up to shut it down. And now Moose is going for the spear. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the heck? Oh my God! Oh my God! Styles clash! What? Styles clash! You gotta be kidding me! And right into the ankle lock goes Josh Alexander. Moose in a bad, bad way. Alexander with the ankle lock. The entire audience here in Poughkeepsie screaming for Moose to tap out, but the champ somehow, some way is holding. Josh Alexander fighting him at every turn. Moose desperate to get to a rope, desperate to save his world championship as he pulls himself into the corner and, that's and gonna makes it. Break it. That's going to break the submission and rips off the turnbuckle pad in the process. Oh, and a kick low, a kick low. The official was dealing with the turnbuckle pad and didn't see it. Moose knew exactly what he was doing. That's the kind of champion Moose is, as if we had any doubt heading into tonight. Oh, oh the God. neck, the surgically repaired neck into the exposed turnbuckle. Head and neck, nothing to protect him, and here we go. Spear, spear. A valiant effort from the walking weapon, but if oh. of Moose about to become unraveled. His left ankle is certainly damaged. I am sitting here flabbergasted at the fact that Josh Alexander just kicked out of Moose's spear never before. And now another exposed turnbuckle. And I think it might just have the walking weapon's name on it. Oh, God, not this. Uh, uh, Moose is thinking about buckle bomb. The surgically repaired neck. Oh, oh God. God. Top turn buckle. The exposed turn buckle. This is getting uncomfortable. Whoa! Oh, wait a minute, the spear was blocked. A knee right to the skull of Moose, and you saw Josh shooting a look to his family, reminding himself just what he's fighting and who he's fighting for. Try to get Moose back up. Alexander won't quit. Looking at Chin, looking at Chin. C4 spike. Cover. Finally, finally, finally. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. Hindu Impact Wrestling Champion. The walking weapon, Josh Alexander. For family, for Impact Wrestling, for the championship. Josh Alexander did it. After months and months of emotional and psychological torture at the behest of the world champion Moose, Josh Alexander can look his wife, look his son in the eye and say, I did it. We did it. <laughs> I look at Jeff. Look what daddy did. Daddy's champion.
17-year mission snatched away in the blink of an eye. Have the courage to start all over again and prove who you are. Congratulations to the next.